Yum, yum! Retopology strategy will differ depending on the level of complexity of your base model and whether it leans more organic or hard surface. For organic 3D scan data, feel free to use Moto's auto retopology script, which is made exactly for stuff like this. If you'd like to art direct or smooth the topology by hand, take a minute to reconsider edge flow. Try to box in your item with large polygons or as low resolution as possible to start off. Build up detail later. This will save you a lot of time. Here's a tip if you're managing edge flow for difficult shapes, encase the entire structure with a single polygon, bevel it, and then delete the interior polygon. I find this method to be quite fast because it usually does not take much time or thought to fill in these islands with quads after a perimeter has been established. Don't bother with any of the fancy tools in the topology tab. There is one tool that rules them all, the topology pen. Activate the topo pen, choose the offset amount in the tool properties panel at the bottom left, and then control and click to drag out a polygon. Left mouse button and click and drag any component, vert, edge, or poly. Shift click to pull out a new polygon from an edge. Shift right click to pull out new polygons along a contiguous set of edges. Shift middle click to add an edge loop that cuts perpendicular to a selected edge. Control click to delete any edge, poly, or vert, but be wary of leftover verts when deleting edges. Control middle mouse button to slide an edge. This is useful for rearranging edge flow without disturbing the total volume of your model. Gently run the smooth tool if geo starts to become unruly. You can do this with or without preserving the volume of your geo. Try to avoid spiral edge loops. This will quickly create a mess when you try to add additional loops. High valence points, sometimes called spiders, are verts that project more than four edges. Avoid them by rearranging your edge flow, but if they are unavoidable, keep them contained to flatter areas to avoid smoothing artifacts. Do not put them on turning edges. Here's a final tip. Create a very useful retopo tool by combining an element action center with an element falloff. Activate the push tool, and if you want, you can turn off its handle visibility in the tool pipe. Now you can interactively push or pull components along their normals. Happy retopoing. Yum, yum.